A warm welcome to the technical minds. We are from team Zeus. We have chosen our application as military unmanned compact aerial vehicle. It is a self-destructive weapon. A general overview is that it targets the enemy and attack them using cameras and GPS and can cause damage to the foe. In our drone, we have used a flying wing, which is a quite convention breaker regarding military purposes. Our UCAV is undetectable under enemy's radar. It is so user friendly as its wings are detachable. It also possesses a thermal camera in it, which is an add-on for us. The use of loitering munition in our application helps us distinguish between compacts and civilians. And loitering munition precision is so high. We have a wave of features. This feature is unique and a new feature which helps us in aborting the mission in the mid-flight. Our UCAV has a very low mission failure probability. Cost efficient is a one of the main factor when it comes to the economics. Loitering munition is more cost efficient when compared with conventional military jets. This system costs only about two-thirds of the weapons used in this operation. It compact size brings its operation and performance to its maximum and also reduces the use of material as it's smaller in size. Less fuel consumption is also one of the admiring features which brings people behind it. Into the specifications. Our model is basically a flying wing body and it has a range of 2 km. It can fly into the skies with 11 minutes of endurance flight or flight time. It has a maximum speed of 150 km per hour alongside with a total weight of 3 kg. The target can be approached via its camera which gives us a 360 degree view on the target location. It is also equipped with a thermal sensor for detecting people which act as a key feature in night attacks. GPS gives us the ability to determine the current location and the target can be locked with the help of it. As these UAVs are single time use UAV, it is built to withstand certain difficult conditions. However, basic checking is required before usage. Most commonly, these UAVs are used in military application, but it can be also used in the field of mining to perform complex holes, which is an icing on the cake feature. It's common that to fly a drone, the pilot or the person who operates the drone should have a pilot license approved from DGCA. And the UAV has to be registered in DGCA. Before bringing these UAVs into action, its battery status, connections, weather conditions and status of the bomb, whether it's active or not has to be checked in order to avoid any kind of mission failure. That's it from our side. Thanks for listening.